It is indeed possible to allocate an array dynamically in runtime with the size that we exactly need in our program. Now when we are declaring an array mentioning the size here, the array is always fixed type allocation. That means it's always going to be 10 elements array. The compiler instructs into the object file to allocate 10 elements array. So during the execution, it is always 10 elements array. You cannot grow the array or shrink the array if you are declaring the array in this way. This is called fixed type allocation. But we can make the array dynamic. Say I want to allocate an array with n elements and the n is unknown during the development of my program. So I want to be so I want the n to be supplied by the user and then I want to allocate array with n elements. So in that case I can go and ask the user for the size of the array. Enter size of array. So this is going to be supplied in runtime. So compiler won't generate any instruction for allocation. And I'm taking the value for n here in the n variable. Now I'm allocating the array with n elements. You can see that here we are mentioning n as variable that is a variable and we are not mentioning any constant so this is totally dynamic now I can go on asking the values for each element using a for loop so I can declare a variable i and I can go with the for loop i less than n i plus plus because there are n elements so the index of the last element is n minus 1 I am providing a prompt enter element to index person d i and I am taking the element using scanf to the index number i of the array. Here you can see that what I am doing I am writing ampersand x i that means I am mentioning or referring to the ith element of the array x using ampersand xi ampersand xi indicates the address of the ith element so when value of i is 0 the content is taken to the element number 0 that means x0 when the value for i is 1 on the second iteration then the number supplied from the keyboard goes to index number 1 that means the second element and so on now let me print the content of the array into the console I'll be printing each element using a for loop. So again, I need to iterate from index number zero to the last element that's less than n and i plus plus. So printf comes here and I'm printing x percent t within square bracket equals to percent d. That means here I want to print the index so that you understand what is contained in which element. And here I'm going to print the content of the index i. So the first one is i and the second person d should get xi. So this i is going to be printed here in the place of first person d and that xi is going to be printed here. Makes sense. Okay, let me just execute this program. So here you go. It's asking for the size of the array. I'm giving 5. So the array is going to be allocated with 5 integer elements if I had given 10 so the array would have been allocated with 10 elements so it's totally dynamic no wastage so it is asking asking for the first element i'm giving 12 second one 3 third one 5 fourth one minus 9 and the last one is say 50. so here you can see that the for loop in our program is printing the content of the array x0 i i, I had given 12 so it is 12 and the last one is uh, last one is 50 so it is 50 at the last element